Okay, so you're back again, I guess. Um, then maybe you can help me. I need help with something. I need help with a lot of things in a lot of different ways, but specifically with one thing related to the markets. Maybe you can help, maybe you can explain it, maybe not. You're, pro you're, you're probably gonna hate this description, but you know, whatever. We can get into this. I, I need clarification on, or just a simple explanation like you'd give to a, like a th third grader. Why are people still shorting GameStop? I can't, I, I don't understand. I'm so confused by this. And you're, you're going to hate I, this video is just going to, you're going to hate this whole video because it's about people doing stupid things. But I want to show you a chart. I want to show you an article. I want to explain my point of view, which is usually wrong and give you some sort of analogy. I came up with an, an analogy. If you don't know what an analogy is, I'll, I'll link it in the description below, but I want to try to make a quick comparison. So why don't we dive in? Let's let's do this. I okay. Let me shrink myself, and then let's just come to this article and not beat around the bush any longer. All right, GameStop and AMC. We all remember what happened. It says that the short sellers sit on nearly a billion dollar loss according to Ortex. Now, the thing I'm struggling with, and here's where I need all of you to, to help me or not help me or I, whatever, but like if I scroll down, the very beginning of this article says that the investors are have been estimated to have lost 900, let me highlight it for you, $930 million on their short positions in meme stocks GameStop and AMC. Now, I, I, like my head is exploding because, for example, if you got to leave, that's cool. Um, but I'm going to show a chart. Does anyone remember this? Anybody? I'll put a link in the description below, but for a definition of, uh, if you go to Investopedia and search face ripper, this is a face ripper. And once you go through that, you know, let's say, you know, you were shorting GameStop, it worked, it worked, it worked, and you did it for years, and it was great. And then you encountered this, and you got your face ripped off, and then you came back again, and it ripped your face off again. Would you keep coming back? I, this is what I'm struggling with. And so I came up with this super creative analogy that you're probably going to think is not creative and is probably really pretty dumb. But all I could come up with, all I could muster was, I remember, do you remember the guy who went running in the mountains? I think it was in Utah. If you don't know where Utah is, I'll link a description. I'll do a Google map uh, in the description. But this guy goes running and he, he encounter, encounters a bunch of kittens and the kittens are of course they're adorable we all love kittens and he loved kittens too so he decided I'll sit down with the kittens I want to take pictures of the kittens and and then we'll just see where this takes us and he's alone he's running alone in the woods in the mountains and which is fine he's probably run a million times in the mountains never found kittens now he did find kittens so anyway the kittens ended up being mountain lion cubs. Mama comes home, finds the trail runner with all of the kittens, and she attempts to rip his face off. And this is all on video. He ends up flipping on his phone and shows video of Mama Mountain Lion coming at him, much like the game stopped coming after the short squeeze over the short seller coming after the short sellers. Now, let's say let's fast forward. Now, this was a while back. Let's say tomorrow. Let's say this morning that guy goes out for a run again. Do you think for one minute that if he encounters more kittens, 
do you think he's going to sit down with them and take pictures and enjoy the cute little kittens? No. No, he's not. If he sees kittens in the mountains, he's going to poop his pants and he's going to run probably faster than he's ever run in his life because he has memory of the last time mama came home while he was visiting the kittens. So this is what I'm struggling with. How is anybody still shorting GameStop? Or for that matter, AMC. Remember this? Remember, you know, like, hey, we're really hammering this guy down. We're working hard here at $2. And then you found yourself at 20? It's just, it's terrible. My analysis is terrible. This video is terrible. You know, like it's all terrible. But this article is mind blowing. So, um, you know, they just kind of get into it. They talk about how much AMC and GameStop are up now. And they're talking about the float. But it's staggering to think that in the last few days that they continue to sit on almost a billion dollars worth of losses with GameStop and AMC. Now, you've probably left the channel, but if anyone's still hanging around still, I want to take this into day trading. I want to give you a takeaway, even though I don't care about takeaways and you probably don't care about takeaways. If you get into a situation where a trade moves against you, and I, and I don't even care what we talk about. Let's talk about AMD. I trade AMD every morning. If you're trading AMD and you get short, and let's say you get short right here you're going down this thing's going down and it bounces to here you better take your stop loss and reload and wait and live to fight another day you don't take this loss stay in it and let it run against you you don't let it run against you by a billion dollars that doesn't make any sense and that's so against any fundamental anything that it's just disgusting so if someone can drop a comment below, I'd appreciate it because I want to know what the thought process is. Are you shorting GameStop? Are you proud of yourself? Do you hate me? Do you hate this channel? I don't know, but put it in the comments. Let me know. I don't understand this. I need help with this specifically. Um, and I also, you know, I watch people plug their channel tell you to hit the thumbs up button and that kind of makes me want to not hit the thumbs up button so and and it's anyway so don't hit the like button if you're a subscriber unsubscribe I guess you know whatever you want to do but this is uh, this is just terrible and uh, you probably hated this video so but drop a comment below don't subscribe don't thumb up don't join our facebook group and don't join the channel don't join our membership we have a 25 dollars membership that everybody hates and and everybody was very ugly about it and and i hate it but i have it you get private slack channel access great group of people in there um they probably hate me too but anyway whatever you want to do um this is uh just doesn't make any sense to me so if you can explain to me i'd appreciate it and i guess i'll see you in the next video